Hello, amazing, cozy person on the internet, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mia Brox, and this channel is all about helping you become a full-time content creator. And in this video, I wanna take you behind the scenes a little bit and show you exactly what my YouTube workflow looks like. How I set this all up behind the scenes using one of my favorite apps, ClickUp, in order to stay consistent with my content on YouTube. Now, I'm not sponsored by ClickUp. I wish, but that is my platform of choice. I know there are tons of other platforms out there such as Notion, Asana, Monday, Trello, I don't even know, but ClickUp, that's my go-to, that's what I fell for. But you can apply these strategies and what I'm about to show you to any platform really. Now the reason that I wanted to create this video, a little sneak peek behind the scenes of how I create my content and how I organize everything is because I know that this is something that I love to binge from creators that I admire and look up to. Because people are nosy, we're all very nosy and curious to see how other people are doing things behind the scenes. How are they so consistent? How do they create their content? What does it all look like behind closed doors? And so I'm really hoping that this video is going to inspire you to get your butt seriously organized behind the scenes because honestly, I can think of nothing better for an introverted content creator to be able to stay consistent. We gotta get ourselves organized. We just need to. It is that important. Important. If you are not organized, it's easy to fall off the wagon, the consistency wagon that is, or the content wagon. And then what happens? You're not gonna build an audience, you're not building your dream business, and you won't get anywhere near the cozy pajama lifestyle if you don't put yourself out there and create amazing content, which I know that you are capable of. Without further ado, let's dive into my ClickUp and see what this all looks like behind the scenes. Now, I would be a really silly person if I didn't share with you the fact that I have a complete course called Dream Plan Do with ClickUp, where I take you behind the scenes of everything in my business, how I've set it up, what my business hub looks like, my Instagram content, how I plan for 10K months. All of that good stuff is inside my Click of Course Dream Plan Do. So if you're feeling like I need more, I want all the templates, head to the link in the description and check out Dream Plan Do because I put it all in there. It'll be a very, very long YouTube video if I were to show you every single little thing that I have organized inside ClickUp. But let's dive into my YouTube workflow and let's get our organized groove on. I don't know what that was. It was a dance, okay? It was a dance, my attempt, anyway. Alrighty, welcome to my ClickUp. This is what it looks like behind the scenes and this is my YouTube workflow and plan. I'm not gonna do an entire ClickUp tutorial in this video. Maybe that's something I could do in another video. So I'm just going to show you what my workflow looks like and how I've set it all up to look aesthetically pleasing to me. <laughs> because it needs to look good. To be able to stay consistent, it needs to look fabulous. So I've set this up inside ClickUp as a board. You can set it up as a list. There are many other views, just like with Asana and other project management tools. There are different ways that you can set up projects, but I set this up as a board. The first column is just for a bunch of different things, basically. I just have a cute little graphic with my brand color, of course. And I have the strategy here, my strategy for YouTube. Yes, I'm about to click on this so you get to see it. <laughs> but really, my strategy is to post weekly every single Wednesday to grow my audience. Like that is why I love YouTube so much is because of the search and the fact that you can create SEO optimized videos so that new people can find you. And so that is one of the reasons why I am on YouTube, but also because I love YouTube and watch YouTube videos myself. And I am focusing a lot on tutorials, creating highly valuable videos that people are searching for. So optimizing all of my videos for SEO, a call to action to my email list, another offer, be me, be relatable, funny, whatever. This is my strategy. <laughs> I'm just gonna be myself. That's my strategy. And then I have a little task called subscribers. Now this is just for me, something I've set up recently, just for me to keep an eye on the growth of my channel. So I'll come in here at the end of every month and I'll update the subscriber count. And then we have a handy little helper right here, new video templates. Whenever I am creating a new video or I have an idea, I can come in here and I can click on these three dots and click on duplicate. Awesome 
new idea, duplicate task. In this video template, here are all of the tasks involved in me getting a video from just an idea in my head to a published video. So all of those little steps that I need to complete, AKA my workflow. So I need to research the video concept or topic. I need to write the outline or the script. I obviously need to film it. I need to take the thumbnail shot. I'll typically do that after I film the video. So I'll take a little snap of myself for the thumbnail and then edit the video as a whole thing. <laughs> well, you know, it's a whole thing. It takes a long time, but it needs to be done. I do that myself. And then I create the thumbnail in Canva. Then I schedule and upload to YouTube. I optimize everything for SEO. And then there's the whole promotion. So I create promo teaser graphics for my stories. So the way that I do this is just, I'll go into Final Cut Pro. I'll find a funny or interesting part of the video and I'll use that for my Instagram stories. And then what I like to do is also repurpose all of my YouTube videos into reels because why double the workload, right? So I'll also create a few reels out of the YouTube videos. And then I'll write the blog post, I'll add it to my homepage. At last, I will email my amazing list of subscribers, letting them know that there's a new YouTube video out. That is my entire workflow for YouTube. So so that's the template that's really, really handy. So I'll just duplicate that for any new ideas that I have. But the next column is video ideas. So this is just where I'll brain dump any idea that I get. Whatever comes to me, I'll jot down here. I'll create a little task for it. As you can see, I have a lot of ideas for this channel. Very exciting. And then I have divided it up into months. This is the way that I've decided to do it. I just found it was really, really easy to have an overview of the month, what's coming, what have I got to film, edit, and all of that good stuff. So I've decided to just tackle it three months at a time because I can't plan longer than three months because things change and I want to do different things. This is just May videos. These are all published. I'll add the thumbnail photo just so it looks really good. So it looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing. I love to have the thumbnail shot in the project. So once I've created the thumbnail, I'll just immediately upload it to the task for that video. So these are all the videos for May. They're all published. As you can see, they have a tag that I've created here called published. For the next three months, we have June. So these are all of my ideas, my scheduled ideas that I will be creating for June. And then I have July. I still have to come up with some video ideas for August, but this is how I like to do it. So I'll pull from all of the video ideas. I'll duplicate that template and I'll come in here, create a new task. This is what it looks like inside the task. I, as I said, I have the tags to choose from to be filmed, post-production. That's when I am editing the video and then published. So those are the three tags that I choose from when it comes to my YouTube workflow anyway. So I'll come up with, with an enticing click worthy headline for the YouTube video. I tend to first come up with a headline and then I dive into the actual outline and the script. That's just how I like to do it. Inside every task, I'll have a little outline of the video. So first I have the video, video title, then I'll jot down some ideas for the thumbnail text so the text on the thumbnail and then the thumbnail shot so what do I want it to look like now sometimes I will actually screenshot other thumbnails that I really like that can inspire this thumbnail shot but for this one I've just written down that I want it to be a MacBook shot so I'll take that shot after I film the video then the call to action if you are a youtuber you must have a call to action in your video where do you want people to go next maybe you want them to check out another video or sign up for your email list, your freebies, or follow you on Instagram, have a call to action for your video. So for this specific video, it's going to be dream plan do my course, which I've already talked about in this video, go check it out. And then the talking points. So this is how I like to outline it. I'll write down all of the things that I want to be sure to mention. So these are, you know, the main key takeaways for this video. So this is all the things for this one. And then sometimes depending on the video, I don't have a script for this one because it's a little bit different, but for this one right here, how to start a podcast, I have embedded the Google doc for the script 
for that video. So this is what that looks like. And then I'll just outline it or script it out depending on how I do things. It's a little bit different from video to video, but there's either gonna be a Google Doc for the script or an outline inside the task of my ClickUp. Then I will just schedule this for when I want it to go live. So this is going live on Wednesday. So 7th of June, and there we go. It is basically that simple. I also have a calendar view for my YouTube workflow because I like to see things in a calendar view as well. So this is just what that looks like. Every Wednesday, new video scheduled every single Wednesday. And here we go, here's July. You're getting a little sneak peek of what I've got going on for this channel, how very exciting. But I know you're wondering about the aesthetics. So how do I get, get it to look this good? <laughs> I think it looks good. And that's the most important thing. It has to look good for you. You have to want to dive into your content planning, your workflows, your project management tools. And so for ClickUp anyway, for the different columns, you can choose colors, yellow, pink, red. All of these are my brand colors. So that's the first thing that I've done. I've just edited the color here. And then to create these cute little graphics, I create them in Canva. I just have a little project called ClickUp pictures and this is the size of the photo if you're wondering about the dimensions it's 940 by 788 very random i know but it works and so i have my brand fonts tend to use the color white a lot i have this overlay of one of my brand colors for the photos i literally just go to pinterest and i will search for new york aesthetic that's not how you spell aesthetic New York aesthetic. Ooh, this one's cute. I might go in here and I'll save this image and I'll upload it to Canva. You are allowed to use images off of Pinterest for this specific use. Coffee aesthetic, New York aesthetic, whatever your vibe is, search for it and then just add aesthetic and it's gonna, I mean, this looks insanely beautiful. I tend to use a lot of coffee, which Shouldn't surprise you if you know me. So yes, we love to get our nerd on and brand our ClickUp. So that's how I do that. And then I just add little emojis. I have the colors for the tags to make it look really nice and enticing. And that's basically it, guys. That is my complete YouTube workflow. If you want to see what I have done here, all of these different spaces, Instagram, podcasts, programs, launching, all of the good stuff, check out Dream Plan Do with ClickUp. I dive into all the things there. There are templates for you to use. There are graphics for you to use that I've created for you and for that course. So if you want more, if you want to learn about the dashboards, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. But I hope that this was helpful. I know for for me, I love binging these types of videos from content creators that I follow. So but do let me know if you have any more questions about Dream Plan Do or this workflow or ClickUp. I'm all ears and now I need to get working on the upcoming videos. And now you know what's coming. How very, very exciting. Just between you and me, right? And the whole internet. Getting your bum, your butt, your behind, seriously organized behind the scenes is gonna save you time. It's gonna save you energy and creating content is gonna be a lot more fun and easy when you're not stressed, when you're not constantly thinking, oh my gosh, what the heck am I supposed to post this week? Supposed to post, that's, that's a mouthful. Basically, get your butt seriously organized, get yourself ClickUp or your go-to project management tool and just set up a workflow for wherever you create content, podcasts, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, do it. And thank me later. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave a little comment. If you're also a nerd when it comes to organization, so let's leave a little nerd emoji. <laughs> Nerds unite. Toodles and cozy vibes. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.